The story behind my sound is an interesting one. I've worked on several different projects for Travis Scott, uh, Halsey, Khalid, Carly Rae Jepsen. There's so many different ones that are out already and that are yet to come out, but I'm really excited. I think what I'm trying to paint when I'm making music is there's kind of like a formula that you start with and when you're making art, you start with the background or whatever it may be first. So I usually start with something that's like people can lock into melodically and then you kind of build from there. When the idea for Sicko Mode happened, it really was something that none of us were expecting. I was working with, uh, with Hit Boy, just a random night in the studio making ideas. We weren't in with any artists or anything. You know, being around him naturally it makes me want to come up with some really crazy stuff because um, I've been a fan of his work for a while and I know he likes those weird sounds and stuff and I do too. So I just kind of feel free working in that uh, environment. So I basically just pulled up a sound on contact. It sounded like a really cool, weird organ and it just happened to be what I played in the moment. So the chord progression from Sicko Mode was sort of like a descending line I came up with starting off with this chord and then it went into the next chord is basically this d major but i added this little e flat on top for some extra dissonance and i also the one thing that remains common about all the chords is that this d is always the top note so that gives it like a lot more tension in the harmony basically that's how i ended up coming up with it and Hip Boy ended up chopping the second half of my loop and making it the first one. So. I think it's pretty easy to know when you've made an amazing hook. I think the feeling goes around the room, that energy just spreads to everybody. You can kind of see it in everyone's face when you're working with an artist or another producer or whatever, and you make something that's unbelievable and rare and unique. You just, you can't stop listening to it. You just keep, you can keep running it over and over, and if you don't hear anything wrong with it, it's probably the one. <laughs>